Let's learn about the sorted edges algorithm, aka the cheapest link algorithm. Our algorithm has these steps here. Select the cheapest unused edge in the graph, first step. Second step, repeat step one, pretty easy. Adding the cheapest unused edge to the circuit unless adding the edge would create a circuit that doesn't contain all vertices or adding the edge would give a vertex degree three. All right, then lastly, keep repeating this until a circuit containing all vertices is formed. So let's go apply the cheapest link algorithm or the sorted edges algorithm. First step, find in our graph the cheapest unused edge. Well, the cheapest one here is AD. Has a edge weight of one. So I selected AD first, right? And that is equal to one. Now, repeat step one, adding the cheapest unused edge that we haven't had here, unless one of these two follows. Okay. Well, the cheapest unused edge here, I would say is AC, right? Let's look at our rules here. Do we create a circuit? No. Does that create anything with degree three? Nope. A would be degree two, but that's fine. So we go AC. Right here. So AC would be next. And that has a weight of two. Now, repeat again. What is the cheapest unused edge? A to B, right? That's weight of four. That's the cheapest one out there. All right. Can we do that with our rules? Adding the edge would create a circuit that doesn't contain all vertices. A to B. Don't create a circuit here. We're good. And then B, adding the edge would give a vertex degree three. If I had this edge A, B, A would be degree three now, right? Three. There are three edges coming out of that vertex. So no, I cannot use A, B. Okay. Next one. Next cheapest unused edge would be DC, weight of eight. But that fails here, part A. It would create a circuit and we don't have all the vertices connected yet. So the next cheapest one would be DB, all right? It would be nine, DB. And that doesn't create a circuit and it doesn't create anything with degree three. So DB would be next. And that is the weight of nine. So we can highlight that here and right there. Now, lastly here, we're going to find the last edge. We already said we could not do AB. We couldn't do DC, right? Because we'll create a circuit there. Um, we have to go BC is left here. By connecting BC, we finish. We've hit every single vertex. We're good. It's the last one left. And so that would be BC, weight of 13. And so our path here could be A, C, B, D, A. There's many ways on this circuit. There's literally the circuit. You can start from any one of them. But let's go with that one. And that has a total weight. If we add all this up, 25, 25. And so there we have it. We've applied the sorted edges algorithm, aka the cheapest link algorithm. And we got our circuit here of 25. Again, it's not the best circuit in this graph, but it's a way to find a circuit there and potentially get the cheapest circuit. But in this case, this is not the cheapest or smallest weight circuit on this graph. So I hope you learned something here about the sorted edges algorithm, aka the cheapest link algorithm. And as always, thanks for watching.